Hi, this is Goldfish X with Heel Hippie, and this is episode 3 of our Let's Play. Um, we have triple XP. True that. It's and uh, we'll be running through random dungeons like usual. You um, might want to check out our previous videos if you haven't caught up, but it doesn't really matter. We'll be going over pretty much the same stuff. Hopefully um, we get a different dungeon this time. Yeah. And, um, basically we're not the best, but we're not the worst. <laughs> well, we're, we're just kind of getting readjusted to our uh, characters, figuring out our abilities. I and mean, we don't we're suck. Right. We know what we're doing. We just... We're inadequate. <laughs> we're, 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 that. we're inadequate. At it. And, so, um, okay, I didn't mention in the earlier videos, but you may, if you are going to run dungeons like this, you may want to buy a tabard for your home city. So Here, um, I have it. So the Stormwind, okay. you can get your home you, city tabard, and as it says here, uh, when you equip it, your champion or your you champion the cause of Stormwind. All reputation gained while in dungeons will apply to your standing with them. So it's a good way to get your reputation up with like capital cities. So and, and with when you get your um rep up you get uh you can buy um when you're exalted i believe you can buy um 16 slot bags for really cheap and then uh, you can also buy, also yeah buy, or is that revered one it's, of the it's revered and then you and get that, a cape i get so, so yeah. wow. okay um, <laughs> let's queue us up let's go uh. I'm eating an orange, so Tyler. Oh. If I don't st if I don't respond to you for a while, it's because I'm eating an orange. Okay. I swear I've been eating these things like two a day, at least. Two each sitting, so like six a day. Six of these little mandarins. Well, he was taking a little longer than usual. Jeez. What's going on here? Not instant. Says well, less than a minute. Actually, says I'm a little pissed off. Time in queue, less than a minute. I'm a little pissed off. I know. Well, so, what the heck? Well, then again, it is one o'clock. Yeah. Well, these people need to stay up. Oh shit! There's a seed in this one. It's a bummer when you're eating an orange and there's a seed in it. Spit that shit out. Spit, don't swallow. No, swallowing is hotter. <laughs> I wouldn't. I wouldn't know. Honest, honestly, I wouldn't know. That's what I've been told. A reliable source. You porn. You porn's the reliable source. Well, since we're waiting around, I might as well go over uh, my talent tree. So <laughs> <laughs> I have eight points. Oh, twenty-four talent tree. I have eight points total. Um, I went for the <laughs> blood and thunder. Uh, so when you thunderclap, it p applies rend. So if you have rend on one target, it'll go to every target around you. That it that thunderclap affects. It's pretty nice for AOE aggro. Then I got toughness, the make me more durable. Though, <laughs> if you watched last episode, it was not helping very much. <laughs> Um, and then I went shield specialization, which, uh, generates 15 ra extra rage when you block an attack, and generates 60 extra rage when you spell reflect, but that doesn't apply right now. Um, and yeah. Um. <laughs> that's all the points. <laughs> that's all the points I have right now. Um, uh, I got a couple new abilities. I got Heroic Throw. We'll be giving you a preview of this talent tree every beginning of the video. 
We'll be keeping you up to date on what he's doing. Well, we can look at this guy's mount, which is pretty badass. It's the turtle. And oh. Where do you get this yeah. mount? Jeez. Sea turtle. Oh, you get that from fishing, don't you? Yeah, I believe so. It's pretty cool. Um, yeah, I got a couple new abilities. Heroic throw. I throw my weapon. Really good for, uh, it's like another taunt, pretty much. Because it does high threat. Okay, so how you get the sea turtle is you fish within, basically, level 70 to 85 places. And it's a random catch. So, north sea right turtle man teaches man. you how to summon a sea turtle mount. This mount can't move very quickly on land, but she's a great swimmer. Oh. Aww, so cute! Okay, back to my abilities. <laughs> I got Sonder Armor, which uh, is good if you're versing a boss to uh, keep aggro up. Reduces the boss's armor by 4% per per applied stack. And it can be applied up to 3 times, so up to 12% for all you really bad math people. Um, yeah. We only have one DPS so far. Jesus. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah. well, well, we'll cut we'll out until, later. until we'll it pops. When... Okay. It. And we're back. I it guess was it like, was it literally, popped it was like, literally a second after Yeah, you. it like popped a second oh. later. Well, I'm gonna enter. Ooh, Ooh. stockades. Stormwind stockades. We just killed Hogger just like, not an hour ago. <laughs> Ten. Jeez. Uh, this is how fast we're moving. We get to see him again when he's locked up. Good old switcheroo. What is this quest? Kill Randolph Moloch. I actually haven't done this dungeon since the update. Since Cataclysm? Yeah. Oh, look, you get all the quests right here. Yeah. This dungeon's pretty cool now. It actually has gear. It used to be when, before Cataclysm, this dungeon had, like, random gear and nothing good. It used literally to be an XP farm. Drops. Literally random drops and wool and silk farm, basically. Wool farm. Are you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, they get a sick leather hat if I was actually planning on going feral. But whatever. I don't need that. Oh, and I also got cleave. Is really, really nice. It's basically like a heroic strike for all the use that don't know it. The heroic strike that attacks up to ocean. Hey, you wanna heal me? <laughs> I was looking at the quest. But, uh, that's no excuse. I can't, that's no excuse to not heal you. We have a gnome and a. So we have two warriors and two rogues. Oh my like god. Two. Won't be fighting anybody for gear. Oh, this guy's leveling up Fury. That's... That's sad. Jeez. You're beating him in DPS though, that's... Now that I have Cleave, my DPS will be amazing. Oh, the rogues are sucking in DPS. This is... Thank god I didn't roll my rogue. And they both have, everyone has either bolt blue limbs or air limbs. So basically, if you're running this, you're going to be running with either people who have really decked out gear. Or people, or people who, who suck. <laughs> and so that's why we're making these Ooh, videos. Nice. So you don't turn out to be one of those people that get sucked, bitched out, and kicked from the kicked yeah. from raid. Or not raid. Dungeon. This is for you. This is for you. Are you new John there? John out there, Randy. Thomas. This one's for you. I guess we can go over some DPS. Oh. Just it's not what basically what not to do. Yeah. What makes tanks really mad is when you pull for them. Or just basically to keep your DPS high, do what Tyler's doing over there and just smacking his keyboard. That's really all it takes to Roll DPS. Just stay out of the way and start slamming your keyboard. 
basically. Well, I'm not really smacking my keyboard. My keyboard is just really loud. I like your keyboard over there. Hey, I think there's a boss in here, you piece of crap. <laughs> I didn't pull him, he's at the very back. Oh god, you just pulled three more guys. Oh my god, look at this pole, shape. <laughs> <laughs> my bad. Yeah, if you're tanking, try not to pull too many guys. Try to... I gotta remember... My bad. <laughs> Now it's an instant cue for DPS. <laughs> <laughs>